from the Mindac channel. You guys probably already know them. They've been up here for the weekend with us. And as you can tell, Buddy's got a setup. Look at this thing. Look I, at this thing. I, I do what I can. I do what I can. He's got a beautiful roof mounted truck tent. This thing is absolutely awesome. We stayed in it the other night and it was actually pretty warm. Not outside though. What, it got down to what, like 24 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 27 or so. We woke yeah. up with like a little bit of snow on the ground. Whew, let me tell you, a little bit chilly, but inside it was actually not bad. We slept three deep in the thing. <laughs> not bad though, so. Snuggling up makes it warm. <laughs> Good spoon session. Good spoon session, he says. No, none of that, but. <laughs> We are going to go ahead and uh, do another camping video. Nick obviously is up here now. Uh, he wasn't up here to enjoy the spoon sesh, as John would say, mm -hmm. the other night. So, yes, But no. what we're going to do is we're actually going to move locations. We stayed basically right here on my property. We're going to go way out. We're going to go way out, boys. Get back into some acreage and see if we can get all the way back by the river that's way behind out on my land. We're going to try and get back there through the trails and see if we can set up right up next to the river. And we're going to set up both our truck tent, Nick and I's, and theirs up top. It's going to be a send. So let's go ahead, get the trucks ready, send it out on the land, and see if we can get into some trouble. All right. Oh. Woo. You ready for this or what? Oh yeah. I'm hoping the trucks can make it back there. Haven't been back there in a while. But uh, I don't know. Could have some trees down. Who knows honestly what we're going to see back there. Oh yeah, we're getting into the thick stuff now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely some trees down for sure. Truck barely squeezes. John's Tacoma is probably going to handle this a little better than mine. Nick's got a big old Ford, so. Ooh, yeah, we're going to have to probably get out and. Oh, boy. Do something about these. Yeah, that's a botch. You brought the saw, right? I do have the saw and the axe, so we are fine on it, but. Oh, let's get the boys out and move this thing. Nick's going to grab the saw. As you can tell, we've got some stuff down here. We got some down trees. That's not bad. We could probably drive over most of this, but never a bad idea to clean up some of the land. But this is a not a not a huge log, but uh, oh, man, we could probably move it. Or oh, beefcake, dude. Oh, Sam no, dude, is a beefcake. Me and Nick got this. Oh. Nick, let's slide it that way. Yeah, screw the saw, I guess. Just tosses the saw. Oh, left with the leg. On the ground. Look at these guys. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> Ah. Nick the, end, the, the end is getting stuck over there. Can you just call him the end? Oh, the whole tree. Yep, keep going. We're good. Look at these guys. How much do I, what do I got to pay you for this? Wow. Just I'll, cleaning I'll up the, the land. Invoice. I'll send you the invoice later. <laughs> Absolute units. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just cleaning it up. This is awesome. Clean up Brandon's trail for him. Wow. Look at these guys. I thought maybe it was not a chance, dude. <laughs> Someone can hold it while we drive through. Sam, you got no, this. You're a unit, it. bro. Sam, can you look on there? Maybe just pull it like. What do you think I am, Hold up. Hold up. Do I look like John Cena? Oh, oh, drop it. Oh, dude, you are John Cena. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> died. <laughs> Okay, well, road is clear. Let's go ahead, get back there, and see if we can get the trucks all the way out to the river. Well, hop back into the truck now. Nick, you think you can send it all the way back there? Easily. I've gotten this bad boy stuck in way worse, trust me. What are you talking about? I thought this thing never gets stuck. Oh, it gets stuck, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone through some crazy stuff. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> yeah, it gets thick back here. Tight. You got her. Some tree branches in the truck. It's fine. Definitely a tight squeeze, but. Slay by a truck. Oh boy, there it is. Look at that. Ooh, this is gonna be a juicy campsite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful back here. Get out of some of the thick stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to park both of the trucks out here tonight. Camp right up top. This. This is gonna be juicy. Oh. Woo, boys! 
We made her back. What do you think? That was a hike, dude. Yeah. I didn't know if the taco could make it, but then I'm like, it's a taco. Of course it's going to make it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a send to get back here. It's a little tight. You know, if Nick's truck can do it, though, True. taco can do it. Absolutely. We made it out here, though. Check this out. Dude, there's definitely got to be fish in here. Like, you think oh, there's yeah. any smallmouth in here? I, I can't Yesterday, say I've ever tried we were uh, fishing a little bit bigger creek than this, but we were fishing a creek inlet, and there was definitely some smallmouth there yesterday. So I don't see why there couldn't be. And there is a lake like down that way, maybe a mile or so, that does have smallmouth in it. So maybe they run up the creek and. Yeah, it's actually a very similar. I don't similar... know how deep it is, but. It, it gets kind of deep down into the center of it. It kind of just scoops down like a little U-shaped bowl, if you will. The positioning is beautiful. Like when those guys wake up in that tent, it'll be looking nice. But we're gonna be getting ready to set up. John's gonna be setting up his. His is a little- Oh, Jesus. When did you get in did there? Did someone order a PH Big Wong 69? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, we got some stuff in the back of the truck. Obviously, Sam's back there. But he just tosses out his game. Got the tent. truck tent. Gonna be setting that up. That's pretty much the most important thing we got back here. We Sleep got a fishing bag. rod. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, still got, got a, a still got a dead minnow on there. Oh, a big rip. old dead fat toughy on there. Rip. I don't know. Maybe take a few casts. See if there's any fish in there. What else we got? Air mattress. A pump. Other stuff for the tent. And a sleeping bag. All right, okay. let's set this bad boy up. Well guys, just finishing the last, finishing touches on our tent. It's looking pretty good. Hopefully this will keep us warm enough for tonight. Brandon, how are you looking on your side? Not bad. All right, just like that. Let me open her up for you guys, show you. If I can find the zipper. This is where Brian and I are gonna be sleeping tonight. Obviously we're gonna push that down, put a mattress in here, sleeping bags, all that good stuff. But this is the setup for us. Now if you walk over here, you got Daddy John, who's got his setup, him and Sam. And this thing is sick. This is my first time actually seeing this thing. And pretty it's pretty nice. Honestly, I like the fact that it's already built on top of the truck and then you can just flip it all down and looks pretty you come nice. spoon up here? Can I, can I come in you there? You can come spoon if you want. Come check Make sure to take the boots off. Uh, I don't know, I got out. the mucks on. Oh boy. Hold on, can I see the camera? Check this out guys. Oh, oh yeah, plenty of room. This ain't bad. Ooh. Ooh, what is this memory three, foam? Yeah, three inch memory foam comes oh. with the tent, bro. Jeez. Yeah, so when you're doing the spoon sesh, like, it's all comfy. <laughs> oh my God, you get a load of this guy. Wow, this thing is sick. You put some LEDs up there? Yep, like I have you. LEDs here, which I'll get going tonight. Um, you just basically plug it into this guy right here. A cord runs down. You can charge your phone. You can have lights in here. Like you have all of the works. It's pretty sick. Wow, this is really sweet. So that's pretty much the setup. Got the river. Now pretty much, I guess, what's the game plan now that we're set up? Honestly, well, we're gonna have to go ahead and set up our air mattress with that pump. So that's true, gonna be true. We don't really have memory fun. foam like this guy. No. Thank God we got a beefcake like Slayman though. Oh my gosh. This I'm guy. a beefcake. Oh yeah. Look at yourself, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Built like a brick shit house. <laughs> All right, let's go set this thing up. Oh God! We're gonna make men out of both of us. Let's go. Make the dream team right there. Let's go. Let's go. Way to finish strong. It's not in yet. It's not in yet. Oh man, that would have been really watch funny. Out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out. Should we RKO him from yeah, behind, yeah, Randy yeah. Orton style? All right, guys, set up. Let's get the rest of the thing rolling here. Let's take Woo. this bitch. Oh God. Yup. Look at that. Fits like a glove. Copy. Not bad. Okay. A sheet, maybe some Blankets or sleeping bags, it's gonna be great. A sheet of paper, a sheet of... <laughs> no, a full out bed sheet. We're sleeping nice tonight. Oh yeah. Woo! We got the jalapeno cheddar bratwurst. 
hitting the old grease. Oh, I can't wait for that. This is gonna be so good. I can't wait to put your sausage in my freaking mouth, dude. <laughs> no homo. No, no homo. homo. Gotta call it. Okay, we're gonna let those heat up. Those Chef are gonna be good. Tonight. What else oh, do we yeah. got? We Can got. Go with these bad boys or no? Yeah. So obviously these are the buns that they're gonna go on, and then instead of ketchup, we've got this sriracha sauce. Wait, there's no ketchup. No ketchup. This goes good with the jalapenos. Trust me on it. I know you're probably thinking this guy's crazy. I mean, and then I love, we got I love some ketchup. We got four cheese from Sargento. What, what's that for? Yeah, that's a strat. And then you just do a tiny little bit of spicy sweet chili Doritos. You crumble them up and spread them over the bun, dude. Trust me. Actually, Trust me. It is an absolute. He's definitely capping. There's no way you do absolute that. Absolute power move, and I will show the he boys a no thing ketchup. or two. No ketchup. I'm just gonna jump in here right now. <laughs> he loves ketchup. I asked him, okay, honestly, if you had to get rid of one of the four, you've got ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, ranch. or ranch. If you had to get rid of, if you could only have one for the rest of your life. I said ketchup. I'd have to probably go barbecue sauce, I think. That's not versatile though. Dude, yeah, I, I don't put, think it's yes, versatile. It you can no, put no, barbecue no. sauce on it's anything. It's not, I'm ketchup. Chicken ketchup. strips, Nick, ketchup. chicken strips without barbecue sauce. Oh, come on! What? What? Put it on a ketchup. burger. Ketchup though. Ketchup on a I dunk my fries. Ketchup on fries. Ketchup no. on eggs. Tenders. Okay. Anything. 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 Mac and cheese. Barbecue. Anything. Barbecue. See? No. Sam knows. Barbecue. No. Yeah, okay. No. Honestly, here's the thing. If you could keep two, it's ketchup barbecue. You could throw mustard and ranch in the garbage. That's gonna fire some people up in the comments. I feel like. <laughs> Probably. How are they looking? Okay. We're gonna have to turn down the heat a little bit. Oh yeah. Yep, those are looking good. All right, so here's the strat. Check that out. A right? black. That's all right. They were uh, not pre-cooked ones. They were completely frozen. So let me show you. While the dog is hot, I'll sprinkle the cheese on there. There's already cheddar cheese in the brats, but you can never go with too much cheese. Is never you can never go wrong with that. All right. Especially not here at Wisco. The boys are coming up from South Dakota. Sargento. Sargento, it's not bad. I mean, John picked this out, so don't at me on that one. No, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then you just give this a little send, okay? We'll get crazy with it. Right? What is this sauce again? This is like a sandwich sriracha sauce. Found this at a Triggs grocery store. I've been using it on a lot of sandwiches, wraps, it's good on chicken. You name Let it. Down the burrito. Yep. So let me set this down here real quick. Okay. Definitely gonna have to move these. Holy. Ooh, ah, that was hot. Okay, don't do that. Yeah, you can probably turn that off. Let me just take a couple of these. All right. Crumble those up real nice. Look at that. Load it up, and then you got a little. Mm. You're telling me that's the move. Over ketchup. All right, check this out, Sam. Oh, no, 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 this is all you. This is yours. You sure? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mmm. that mouth do, boy? How is it? That's a good wiener. That's but really good. Shove it no, in. I will make you your own damn oh. dog. Already took a bite of the brat. Oh. Gave her a dangle, but it's not bad. I know we were complaining about the ketchup, but took Brandon's advice, and it actually does slap. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but... It's not bad. You haven't finished eating this up. It's already getting dark out here, but honestly, guys, we're a little bit tired just from the sun that we had it today. We did some small efficient, like I said, did a ton of driving, ton of loading, traveling, and all that. So we're probably going to hit the hay a little early. But first, we're going to have to finish all of those brats. Alrighty. Well, guys, we just finished dinner. It was pretty superb, I must say. We have a little tiny, tiny bit of like snow coming down on us a little weird as you can tell it's cold um i feel like it's above freezing but not by much so that could maybe cause just a little bit of precipitation if you will i don't know but it is time to hop in oh god nick how is it in here it's a little freezing i'm not gonna lie to you Woo! oh boy wait wait gotta take the mucks off all right we're already losing air so that's good Oh boy, it is chilly. All right, well, it looks like Nick's gonna be the big spoon and it's time for bed. We will see you guys in the morning. Wow. Wow, guys, we did it. 
it's like, I don't even know what time it is. 9.30 already, okay. So we overslept a little. Definitely wanted to get some things done today, but um, it's pretty cozy in here. Just wanted to stay asleep. We've been uh, giving it a full send all weekend long with all the fishing trips and camping trips and all the other stuff that we've done. Lots and lots of driving. It uh, was pretty comfortable in here, I must say. Although, uh, this air mattress, ho ho, rest in peace. Sent me to the gulag last night. Let me tell you, this thing has seen better days. I think it's time for a new air mattress. Oh, we're tossing it. oh God, yeah, this thing's getting tossed out because it is not doing a very good job of holding air. But that's okay. Overall, tent did well. No critters got in or anything like that. So let's go see how the boys are doing. They're sleeping over in their truck tent still. So let's go check it out. What's going on, fellas? Hello. Hello. What are we doing? Just kicking it We're watching some some nbs on the all youtube you're lying just sitting here i was thinking the hub but you know <laughs> this thing looks comfortable Dude. i see your uh, memory foam mattress did not uh did not lose any air last night it didn't uh -huh. i heard you uh talking about yours and it did lose air yeah it's completely botched huge botch so you're saying we should have just had the spoon session here i mean if we would have gone four deep in here Doesn't that sliver here I can see. Yep. Uh, there's a crease. There's oh, definitely yeah, a crease. There's a crevice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you go butt to nut, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Well, overall, I would definitely say that yours did a lot better than ours. Uh, well, actually, not really. They both were pretty damn comfortable, I think. But yours just looks warmer. But honestly, I really wasn't that cold last night. Well, we all have to stop being lazy and get up and get right into action today. We've got a lot of things that we need to do. This is unfortunately the last day that the boys are gonna be visiting us up here in Wisco. They gotta head back to South Dakota. So we have to pack up both of the tents. We've got some editing and stuff like that from this weekend that we gotta get ready for you guys. And then I think we're gonna have a fishing send in the works tonight because it is actually Nick and I's last day off of work this week. So we wanna get out there and try and capitalize on some fish. So we're gonna go ahead, start tearing all this stuff down. We will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, in the vehicle now, heading to the lake, headed up, getting some McDonald's, grab some minnows, got some drinks, got a little bit of a drive, but, yeah, our plan was to actually wake up this morning at a reasonable time and we were gonna actually make breakfast out on the stove, riverside, do all that, except for, yeah, obviously we did not do that. The no. boys all slept in today. We slept in way too long. But it actually gave me a lot of energy. It actually gave us enough energy to want to go fishing and to actually be able to function while fishing. To hopefully bring another walleye video for you guys in the future here. We hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. We'd love to hear what you guys thought as far as which style of camping would be better. Do you guys think it'd be a lot easier to set up one versus the other? Or would you guys rather have more room like Nick and I's we've got it set up in the bed of Nick's truck? Or would you rather have it up top like John and Sam have on theirs? Definitely really like their truck tent. Oh, yeah. Having it on the rooftop it's is pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. It's really nice. And it's convenient. So I don't know. Theirs is also a lot more expensive than what a ours lot is. More. Like a lot more. But uh definitely does function pretty well, I must say. So let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Also don't forget to check out the Mindac Outdoors channel. We're gonna go ahead and leave that down in the description below. Yeah. If you don't Make know sure who they are, out. I don't know where you've been. Yeah, you guys must be sleeping. Do not sleep on the boys because John Lehman is definitely the biggest swinger in the game right now. Uh, definitely Easily. go ahead and check those guys out. Make sure to subscribe to their channel as well. They're gonna be posting their videos from this weekend so you can see their perspective of things. And like Nick said, we are on the way to the lake and we're gonna be filming some more bangers for you guys. So hopefully we get into the walleyes tonight. Again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give a big old fat thumbs up for us. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that little notification bell. Also, really appreciate if you guys would go ahead over to our Instagram page, nb.edit. We really appreciate all you guys that have headed over there. We've gotten a ton of followers lately. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Get a little sneak peek behind the scenes type stuff. So until next time, tight lines from NB Edits.